Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra Robot Vacuum. It's the latest flagship product from Roborock and it could be considered the most advanced robot vacuum ever released. We put it through a lot of tests over the past couple weeks and in this video I'll go over all the pros and cons. So links in the description and let's get started. First the basics. The Roborock S8 is the name of the robot vacuum only with a standard charger. The S8 Plus version comes with an auto empty dust bin and the Pro Ultra version comes with the Ultra Dock, which is an auto-empty dustbin, and an auto-mopping dock, which we'll talk about later. The S8 also comes with two different color options, a black and a white version. Starting off with the pros, it's a good robot vacuum. In our various pickup tests, it excelled at pickup on both hard floors and carpets. I always like to compliment Roborocks particularly with their sweeping ability, and the S8 was no exception, picking up various types and sizes of debris on both surfaces types with no issues. It also excelled in its mopping capabilities with all of its many mopping related features. Roborock has introduced the new Vibrarize 2.0 system with the S8, which means that it now vibrates at two points instead of one on the mop pad for enhanced scrubbing intensity. This improvement was evident in both our dried on mopping tests and wet mopping tests, where it delivered some of the best results I've seen so far. Also, the S8 Pro Ultra is one of the few robot vacuums on the market with a mop pad that automatically raises when it senses carpet. This feature enables it to vacuum and mop homes with a mix of hard floors and carpet in just one run, which is a significant game changer in the industry. We tested its mop raising capability on both high pile and low pile carpets, and aside from occasionally getting the edges of carpets wet because it would try to cover both surface types at the same time, the S8 Pro Ultra was otherwise flawless with keeping carpets and rugs dry when raising its mop pad. One new mopping feature in the app is that you can now now choose which way the floors in your home lay, so that it will mop with the grain to reduce streaks, something my wife has been asking about for ages, and it's the only robot vacuum I know of that has this feature. The rest of its mopping features have to do with its newly designed Ultra Dock, so let's move on to that. It's still an auto-empty dock where it empties the contents of its dustbin automatically, and it still automatically washes its mop pad and refills and empties its mop tank, which is the pinnacle of automated floor care systems. But it now comes standard with an auto mop pad drying system in which over the course of hours it dries the mop pad, which makes it much more sanitary. Moving on to its navigation and obstacle avoidance sensors. Roborock is one of the best in the business when it comes to navigating around your house, and that seems to only have gotten better with the S8. In our new navigation tests, where we run it several times on a fixed floor plan on different modes and different power settings, it was the most efficient robot vacuum of any other flagship robot I've tested including the previous S7 Max V. It was also extremely good with its overall coverage. Its fast mapping system was also amazing, creating a map of the floor plan in only four minutes, faster than any previous robot we've tested. There was a big change with the obstacle avoidance sensors from the S7 Max V to the S8 because they left out the camera on the new S8, instead relying on structured light and infrared images to help it see and avoid obstacles. I'm not sure, but I guess this was done in part to ease the mind of customers Customers who expressed security concerns about cameras on robot vacuums, but in any case, we found that it didn't affect the obstacle avoidance performance much, if at all. In our now standardized tests, it scored a 9 out of 12, which is a little better than the previous Roborock S7 Max V, and it's tied for the best score we've seen so far. I always say that obstacle avoidance sensors are not yet perfect, but they are certainly better than not having it as a feature. The app and map features are very extensive. There are lots of extras like no-go lines lines, room select, zone cleaning, a huge amount of specialized scheduling features where you can program it to clean some rooms with different power or mop settings. It has 3D maps, multi-floor maps. You can adjust the frequency of the mop pad cleaning or auto empty behavior. It's just a masterclass in features and customization. One highly anticipated feature on the S8 is its dual brush roll design. iRobot has had a patent on this two brush concept for 20 years that ended not coincidentally, around the release date of the Roborock S8 Pro. It's supposed to help with vacuuming carpets and hair tangles, and in my opinion, it's just kind of anticlimactic, which brings us to the cons. 
I was really hoping that the dual brush roll system would translate to better carpet deep cleaning scores, but in the deep clean test that we do, where we embed sand into medium pile carpet, it wasn't all that impressive. It was above average, but nothing to write home about, and even less than the Roborock S7 Max V. Though this could possibly be explained by it having seemingly lower power than the S7 Max V. We test suction and airflow, and it seemed kind of low on both. It was also pretty bad with the crevice pickup test, not even as good as previous Roborocks, which I don't really have a good explanation for, other than it having lower power or possibly because of operator error on our part. Another thing is that while it has one of the best battery specs in the industry, using a large 5200 milliamp hour battery rated at 180 minutes per charge and low power, it was slightly less efficient than previous Roborocks in our tests, though we still calculated its range at a little over 1200 feet per charge, which is a huge amount. So despite its mildly disappointing carpet deep clean scores, its other features and general performance were enough to have it be the best robot vacuum yet in our new robot vacuum scoring system. And it's by far the best and most advanced mopping system on the market. It has all the possible features and upgrades that you would expect from a robot vacuum in this premium price range. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.